All right, guys, welcome back to the road to SSL in 3v3. Today is episode number 14, and I apologize for the lack of SSL videos lately, but I thought I would replace the SSL video with the perfect way to train. If you didn't see this video, make sure to check it out. It helps you out a lot. It helps me out a lot still, so I think it would benefit you if you haven't seen it before. But now we're jumping into the next one. Thank you to Bonk for this recommendation. It's John Plan Man, so it's time to make this photo. All right, so I searched up engineer with blueprints, and honestly, I already see the photo that I want. I have a big plan for this one, so we're going to grab this photo and throw it in Photoshop. Now, of course, we need John Sandman. This one actually looks pretty perfect for the uh, situation here. So let's grab this one, throw it in Photoshop as well. All right, so we'll start with these two objects and uh, work with this. So let's get John's face and clip it out. That should be good enough. Let's grab this, copy, paste, delete this. i do some cleaning up, obviously, but I need to kind of mix in John's head with uh, this guy's. I'm going to clean this up now. <laughs> what is this, man? That's actually pretty good. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Let me grab some goggles for him. I don't know if that was worth the effort, but there it is. <laughs> That's pretty good so far. There's still plenty to do, though. I'll show you the final result in just a second. All right, and there we have it after all of the little adjustments. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I went a little bit of a different, different direction than what Bonk wanted, but I hope he enjoys it nonetheless. Now let's jump into the episode. All right, we're finally back in Rocket League after wasting 15 minutes of my life on that photo, but I hope you guys enjoyed John Plan, man. We're gonna jump into the next episode. I also changed my decal a little bit. I changed the uh, paint finishes. I used Mako marks or Mako marks, uh, and then also anodize on the secondary. Uh, but in the last episode, we got comp uh, Grand Champion 2 Division 4. We're at 1697, just on the cusp of 1700. I believe we're probably gonna make Grand Champion 3 here and probably halfway through it if we win all the games. But we'll jump in real quick and see how it goes. Also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out a ton. We're currently on the road to 2 million subscribers. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the episodes. It's been great doing daily videos for over two years now. It's been a lot of work, but I think it's well worth it. So yeah, let's jump right in. All right, Kalian and Rang Ranksis? Ranksis, maybe? <laughs> Ambu, Chewy, and Bungu. Bungo on the other team. Oh my gosh, these names. I'm so used to just like pros names and stuff. It's interesting to, to try and read these names. People got really interesting creativity down here. We got the corner boost off the player, and there's a free goal there too. It's important that I go for that challenge in midfield at the early start there. I didn't really mention it because I was still talking about the names, but... Um, right there, I gotta cover my teammate because if I go back to net instead of challenging that for my teammate who's in in the net, I'm gonna put myself in the same position as my teammate. And in solo queue, especially, we're gonna be confusing each other um, if we don't cover all the options. My teammate should go immediately for this. Good fake though. Try and bump their third it's out of the game. Now Chewie's last. Should be fine. Thought my team was maybe gonna touch that. Good save. Could be awkward. Good save again. I'm gonna try and go early. Ah, uh, he's gonna get the boost. It's okay. Oh my, okay, I thought my teammate was going earlier on that too. Make sure I clear to the side. Right here, all my old goal is to get the back corner immediately. Actually works out for us that that's a fake. Good shot to the top left too, and a great position uh, from Killian to wait for that. Um, great touch from Ranksy's too to clear that to the top left or, or left of the goal. Not a great clear from Bungo though, because he could have cleared at the corner and made it roll. You really want to make sure that any ball that you clear at a defense, it doesn't spill into mid. Um, and, you know, the backboard hit, you're basically just doing what an opponent d would do uh, to your own net. So you never want to do that. It really confuses your teammates. It's going to be really difficult to defend, too. That pinch is actually good for us. When he keeps it close to the wall, it's actually less dangerous. Because it's close close enough that he can't, um, you know, get a shot on target. Or or really get a pass out. I'm going to bump this guy off. Good positioning for my teammate once again. Really good placement for my teammates on the field. They're really rotating well, well and watching those positions. That bump was really important too because it frees up that touch. And that was a really good play to pop that down. A really, really good pass. Can't stress that enough. That's a really good placement. If you watched the video lately as well where we talk about how to pass with Squishy and Alpha Cap, those positions down in the middle of the field are the best spots to uh, you know make, make positions for passes. Right there, I could have maybe passed in midfield. There we go. Another shot too. Honestly, my teammates are carrying i mean we kind of all we're kind of all pretty even but they're really really looking really good in the mid middle of the field they have like a shot here and there but they don't really use it to their advantage uh to keep pressure right here i have a free touch i can catch this first and make it pop over the one even if it's on target it could be good for us don't need to go all the way back it's actually gonna be in again <laughs> oh my gosh 
What is happening? I don't feel like I'm doing that much. And, and especially with, we're, we're pretty high ranked now. Um, that's going to be a uh, forfeit too. Peaking. <laughs> Let's see what they say. GG. That was a pretty good game. That'll probably actually be our... Uh, he says, nah, this is... Nah, this is every day in the office here. This should be our Grand Champion 3, I think. Maybe? Maybe not? Okay. Still another game, but that was a quick forfeit for the first match. Like I said, I think my teammates did really well. Ranksies is uh, looking really solid with the three goals there. And uh, Kaylee in really good positioning in midfield and passes as well. Like, I'm honestly surprised at how uh, how consistent they were. And we got Ranksies again on my team, so it should be a pretty good game. We got a new new squad member. What's his name? Dax. D-Hacks. Pop this up over the guy's head so that way he has to clear to the side. Good follow from the opponents. We can get another one. Oh, flip reset too. And a finish. Look at this. What is going on? They put, my teammates are passing really well. Like I was going for like a crazy redirect play. But uh, you know, I'm just trying to just trying to vibe with my teammates and they're they're doing a good job. I'll wait for the touch off the backboard here from the opponent. Clear to the side. If I get the way of Lone Star's touch, Ranks he's going for it as well. I don't want to double commit with him again, so I'm gonna back off. Good follow-up. Should be D hacks ball. Didn't get the boost. I'll be able to get it now, though. Decent tries. Wait, midfield. Have a few pads. Decent. I'm make sure I pop this over the player with that touch. Make a really awkward aerial for him. Teammate could try to take a shot. It's pretty tight. I don't think he should take a shot there. But we are two players back, so it's okay. Get a touch off the corner. Hopefully my teammate can follow it. Might miss this. My teammate actually cleared it. That's okay, though. It's a good pass, and then I, he kind of cleared the ball off of me. Right here, I can get the boost first and turn on this. Good touch. Good touch from Ranksies as well. Honestly, everyone's playing pretty fast right now, but... Just gonna make a pass to D-Hacks, man. Hopefully, he passes that back. Ranksies is in a good spot. Good. I'm gonna fake this. Oh, <laughs> okay. I expected the clear. Teammate should be in ready in midfield, maybe? A little slow. It's okay, though. Just watching midfield here. Don't need to watch the backboard because Ranksies got that covered. Watching that midfield pass pretty openly. He's going back. He's not going backwards, so I'm gonna try to take a shot after the bounce. Good shot, and there's the finish. Pretty solid plays. I think the defense could be a little better for our team, but we're looking all right. And uh, obviously, we did have a goal there, but uh, I think it was D Hacks who got in the way of the pass. But I'm liking where I'm at right now because I'm I'm not like trying to outshine or anything. I'm just like playing consistent with the my teammates. Decent. Should be D Hacks ball maybe. Oh, good finish. So DX kind of turned on the wall a little bit weird. I expected that the guy was going to beat me here with this touch because it was a little bit heavy. But that, that clip around the corner wasn't uh, wasn't readable for my teammate, apparently. So that's all good. Still up a goal. That was a little awkward off the curve. Good clear. I can, I can boom this. I'll clear to the right side too because then it goes behind Poocher Boy who has to catch it. Make sure I gotta get in the way of him as well. DX going up for this is a little bit ambitious. So was that. I definitely gotta score that though. I got the bump off the one player, so I had, I had a lot more time and a lot more patience to work with. All right. For some reason, he wants to demo me. That's an interesting play. This guy's uh outfield uh quite a bit. <laughs> a shot towards target. See what they do. So he kind of throws it away. I'm going to let him touch it first. So that way I get a free 50-50 fi uh, win. Because of that, I, I can uh, keep the pressure a lot better than, you know, going for the first touch. That guy going to net actually kind of makes it a little bit better for us. I'm going to pass this middle for my teammate. Good pop. Keeping the possession. Good try. It's going to roll out. This lone star. This is a this is a team, actually, I just realized. So they're probably communicating. Two 50-50 wins should be a... By the way, I'm saying win there. Uh, I realize that that probably is confusing. Is that going to be in? Oh, it's over one player. Um, I would say it's a win because of the way that it pops out to my teammates. Good try. Get a double here. I'm making sure to make sure I get that soft touch and make sure I get that, that double because it's pretty dangerous if I don't. My teammates are probably reading the, that I'm getting the double, so one of them could be out of position and that immediately results in a 1v3 for my team. It's going to be down though. Pretty solid game. Didn't do too much. I'm just trying to stay consistent with my teammates. And I uh, got the space station car too. I like it. Look at, look at him. Ah, I see. A man of taste. Oh, he left. 
Well, that's okay. I just got I just got egoed. Oh, there's there's the Grand Champion three. So we're finally in GC three, which is the second highest rank in the game, and uh, Division one. So we're at the very very bottom of it. Sometimes we get Division two right away. I'm not sure why, but I like that I'm I'm just playing in that position where I'm uh you know covering my teammates and not doing too much. Um, if I play a little bit faster, I think it would be much more obvious. But I like I just I like playing that like little role of you know support and consistency. Um, sort of like the ghost of the team uh, that no one knows is actually doing you know some consistent touches that they need to. Uh, a lot of thirds in RLCS kind of get overshadowed even in casters and stuff um, because of that. But being that third anchor and being that consistent player is is really important as well. All right, for the last game we got Agro, aka me and Stu. Got Tiber, I I don't even know, man. Modern, there's some interesting names. And Squiddy, I can get the return clear. Pop it over Tiber, or Taibu RL. Wait for the clear. Should be my teammates ball freed for now. Not a great first touch, but he has some space. I like that he's trying to keep possession, but it wasn't the greatest touch. It's gonna be pretty dangerous too. I see he has shot on target. He's gonna get a touch over me. I'll wait for the left now. The reason why I go for that anyway is because in that situation, um. As I was saying, I wasn't doing that much. Here I am doing a double. Um, in that situation, I have to make a challenge, and and I actually give myself my teammates more positions. I, I don't think my teammate didn't go for that. Should be okay though. I thought he was gonna challenge for us on his way back. Nowadays in the meta, it's like more important that you just go when you're in the right position. Should be my teammate's ball here. Pop it towards target so I can turn immediately. I saw my teammate go up, so I kind of slowed down. Decent. Maybe get a double here. Pop us up nice and high over Taibu. So there should be a shot on target, and there it is. So I know there's two players that were committed in the corner on the side of the, the field. That guy right there, and then the guy that went for this double. So right there, I know there's only one player left. So I pop it up nice and high over the backboard uh, behind Taibu, who's probably watching in, in mid of the net. Not many people will watch the back of the net when they see their teammate committing in the corner. So that's why I went for the high touch. And as high as possible, and as, and as hard as possible for that fr uh, much more free backboard read. I fake this. I have two boosts. Cleared over to the side. They both miss. I'm gonna push up forward here for, for maybe a clear if Agro can get it. You got a bump though. A little bit awkward. Maybe a touch from the opponents too. Free touch on the backboard. I'm gonna stay with this because there's a guy challenging. That way I can get a 50-50 that more favors us and it doesn't commit both me and Stu. Hopefully Stu can go for this. Good. Let him touch it. Just hoping that my teammate would get the free touch and pass it out. Not a great touch because it goes back to modern, but I should be able to get some pads here. So my teammate got the 100 boost, so he has to make something happen, which he does. I'll pop this to the corner, like I said, keep it safe. I'm trying to fake that one player because Squiddy was a little bit danger uh, a little bit scared to go as third man. He didn't know how much boost ahead, so I just wanted to uh, present a threat in that position. See if he wastes all of his boost. He does. Pop it around him, make sure Taibu makes a bad touch. I like that Agro just backs off and Stu goes for the corner read. I gotta get, get that boost in the mid. That way Modern's gonna be low. Good pop. Oh, good read though. Thought with a pre-jump he wouldn't uh, wouldn't get that. Good read. Just trying to watch the high touch. See that guy up, so I'm just trying to beat him. Taibu could make a touch, so it's good of him to wait. Good save. It's gonna be in the net here. Um, great of him to wait because he knew that guy was gonna make a redirect. Just the bounce off the post obviously was a little rough. I might have been able to just let that guy touch that ball in the corner because he's kind of rushing for no reason. And it'll roll to our team uh, instead of getting the 50-50 that pinches. It's always hard to tell, though. Keep it safe. Should we pop across? Teammates get a clear, and it's in the net. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's one of those things where, like, the aggression from the opponents actually works in your favor. It wasn't the greatest read for me in the corner, but I kept it close, and then he pops it right for a free clear off the breakaway. I wasn't sure if he's going to get a touch, so I'm trying to watch it. I'm trying to go for the far touch in case he goes... Far and wide, which he does. It's gonna go up for uh, Oh, that was a good double touch, actually. Oh, good pass. Close. Oh, that did not expect that to go right towards me. It's gonna be pretty dangerous. I'm trying to at least force him up. Good save. I, I think Agro is zero boost. So I'm trying to keep keep that in mind with where I clear this. Give my teammates time to get the boost. He's probably gonna grab that mid too, so I know that because he's low. Let's see, he goes for a challenge. Decent try. I don't like. I like that my team is trying to cover that, but he didn't go for the uh, full-on challenge. He didn't fully commit. Hopefully, my teammate can clear it, and there it is. It's pretty dangerous. That good. That was a good bump from the opponent. I had to wait in net there because my teammate was on the backboard and he wasn't challenging. Um, so I had to wait for the next shot. 
And I was going to push out in that, that that second where he was bumping me. But that was a pretty good set of games. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, definitely an interesting one. Definitely more of like an anchor. Uh, trying to sit back and not really, you know, make some highlight shots. Just trying to be consistent for my team. And uh, I think it worked out. So we're still Grand Champion 3 Division 1. But we're getting super, super close to SSL. Like I said, it's a little bit slow of a climb, I think, at this rank. We're getting like probably a few points. I actually don't have the MMR on, on this uh, on Bacchus Mod anymore because it updated. But... I'll make sure to put on the, the, for the next episode. But until next time, have a great day, guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.